Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime Thursdays. Today we'll be reading Bruce's Big Adventure. Um, stay tuned after our goodbye message uh, to have some special visitors in today's video. I hope you enjoy. Bruce's Big Adventure. Seven little ducklings swam in a pond, their little webbed feet paddling beneath the water. A big gray buggy paddles around the pool. He bumped into Natasha, then Carol, then Wanda. Bruce huffed to himself. He didn't like it when Bucky acted like a big bully. He could tell the others didn't either, based on their quacks. Bucky, Wanda trilled, the pool is for all of us. Yeah, to share, chirped Bucky. And right now, it's my turn. So get out. And Bucky chased everyone else out of the pool. Bruce gave himself a big shake, but his feathers weren't really waterproof. In fact, his feathers weren't all feathers. He still had a lot of fluffy down. Bucky was the only one swimming in the pool now. Bucky was his friend. He'd let them back in. At least, Bruce told himself that as he waddled to the edge of the pool. Bucky, Bruce said, we're friends. And since we're friends, I think we should share the pool. I think there's room for all seven of us. We are sharing, Bucky insisted. It's my turn now, then it'll be the rest of your turns. You wouldn't want to take the pool away from your best friend, would you? No, Bruce didn't want that, and Bucky was his best friend. Feeling deflated, Bruce decided to see if he could find another swimming place. The big scaries had left the duckyard gate open, so Bruce waddled right out. After he had walked a few feet, he turned around. Everyone except Bucky was beating. No one had even noticed him leave. Bruce sighed. Not being missed made him even sadder but it also made him more sure he should find a new pool. There was a giant duck coop near the duckyard, a big gray coop made of stone and of gray things. Maybe he could walk around that. Since their little coop had a pool, the giant gray coop should have a pool too. He began the long journey around the coop. He was barely halfway around when he saw it, a pool of water. He was so excited, he didn't notice the strange smell coming from the still water. With a mighty leap, Bruce fell into the water. What a mistake! The water was thick, stale, and slimy. And the smell! How did Bruce miss the smell? Bruce had to get out. He splashed to the side, but the pool was so slimy he couldn't get out. Help! Bruce cried. Help! Help! Bruce! Stormy flapped her little wings as she ran over. What happened? Natasha and even Helena followed. It's so gross, he told them, still trying to climb out. I can't get out. Natasha trilled. I'll get you out. I can fly, so I can get out myself. I can fly too, Helena flapped. I can help if you get stuck. Natasha flapped into the pool. With a quiet hiss, she boosted Bruce out. He flopped to the ground, panting. Thank you. Now I need help, Natasha trilled. Helena ran forward, and Natasha turned around so the wings faced the same direction. Helena grabbed Natasha, and they flapped their little wings as strong as they could, but it wasn't enough. Stormy grabbed onto Helena, and with a deep breath, Bruce joined in. Everyone, flap on three, called Natasha. One, two, three. With a heave, all four ducks gave a great clapping call. Bruce's Big Adventure. Thanks so much for tuning in. Parents, let me know in the comments who you would like to hear a story about next. And now it is time to say hi to our special guests. Hey. No. Yeah. That's not what you're supposed to do. Out. 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 Snapper. Yeah, you look at me like that. Surprise visitors! Yeah, these guys know they're not supposed to be in here.
Zephyr out. Uh, get out. Yeah, you both need to get out. Oh, good boy, Zephyr. Oh, oh. good girl, Lenore. All right. 